And now here's the part guide that no one asked for, Atlas Pistols. Why? Because we're going to cover all the manufacturers and their weapon types, so we might as well get these out of the way. We're not going to be looking at any uniques or legendaries, because the parts that make those guns what they are are not going to be on any other gun. However, many of the parts that we are going to look at will be able to spawn on legendaries and uniques, so it might be good to know what you can get. We're going to start off with the body of the gun. Every Atlas pistol is going to have the same body, no matter the rarity. Now, I just want to say a quick thing. When you're in the Parts Inspector tab, you cannot move or rotate the guns. Unfortunately, Atlas pistols like to sit right behind the UI, which you can't hide here. So I couldn't move this thing into clearer view, but you can see the majority of the body highlighted here. It's the best I can do. The body will have three accessories. There's an accuracy accessory, which according to the parts inspector, reduces your accuracy by 15%. Not sure how this works considering in past Borderlands games, negative accuracy was always an accuracy penalty. But who cares, this is a new game. It's also really fun when you get a bunch of negative accuracy modifiers on parts and then the gun card shows positive accuracy, and it's not even equal to the sum of the negative modifiers. Here we have a gun with minus 65% accuracy from its parts while the gun card shows plus 51% accuracy. Whatever, moving on. The second body accessory is a fire rate accessory. It will increase your fire rate by 10%. The third accessory is a reload time accessory. This one reduces your reload time by 10%. Now this is where things get fun. We're going to look at the barrel. There are three different barrels and each one has three different accessories that cannot be shared with the other two barrels. So you're looking at 12 parts just between the barrels and their accessories. The barrel will determine the base name of the gun. So the three barrels are the AX7 barrel, the AX19 barrel, and the AX88 barrel. The AX7 barrel accessories include one that gives negative 15% accuracy, a second one that gives negative 15% accuracy, and a third one that decreases reload time by 10%. The AX19 barrel accessories include one that increases fire rate by 10%, a second one that increases fire rate by 10%, and a third one that gives negative 15% accuracy. The AX88 barrel accessories include one that increases damage by 10%, another one that increases damage by 10%, and a third one that increases projectile speed by 30%. And it looks like there are some hidden bonuses or features for each barrel as well that aren't shown in the parts tab or on the gun card. The AX7 has a much faster fire rate than the AX19 or the AX88, but it shoots in burst fire. The AX88 has the slowest fire rate and shoots slower moving projectiles that consume 2 ammo per shot and deal the highest damage on average. The AX-19 has a fire rate somewhere in the middle of the two and has the lowest damage on average, but is fully automatic and has projectiles with a normal speed. That's it for the barrels and next we'll take a look at the grips. There's three of them. The first one here will increase your damage by 5%. The second one here will decrease your reload time by 5% and give you minus 20 accuracy. The third will increase your fire rate by 5% and then something with weapon sway. According to this, you get minus 60 weapon sway from two things that say minus 30 with one being good and one being bad, so do with that what you will. Next, the magazine, of which there are three. The lowest mag size you can have is 14, and if you get this, you will get a damage increase of 10%. You can also get a mag size of 18 that receives no bonus or penalties. Lastly, you can get a 26 round magazine, but your damage will be reduced by 10%. Atlas pistols have a radar part, and like everything else here so far, there are three of them. The first will decrease your recoil height by 30%, give you minus 10% accuracy, and then we have that weird thing with a double decrease in weapon sway where one is green and one is red. The second radar part will decrease reload time by 5% and increase your damage by 5%. The third part will increase your fire rate by 5% and increase your magazine size by 10%. Now Atlas weapons have a special effect where you can shoot an enemy with a tracker and then shoot smart bullets that will home in on that tracker. That's kind of their selling point. Pistols have three different tracking mechanisms. Tracking darts allow you to fire a few darts in a tight spread at an enemy, or more if you could hit more than one with them. The tracking puck will allow you to shoot a puck that can magnetize to the nearest enemy, marking them. The tracking grenade will allow you to fire a grenade that explodes on impact or after a short duration, marking targets within the explosion radius. When you hit an enemy with the tracker, it will allow your smart bullets to home in for 8, 10, 12, or 15 seconds depending on the part you roll. If you get an anointed version of an Atlas pistol, you won't be able to tell how long the tracking effect lasts for because the anointed information covers this up, so you'll have to test that for yourself. So that's it for Atlas Pistols guys, good luck memorizing these. 